All right, everybody, welcome to today's video. In the previous video, we looked at the Rockford Jump Starter, and I was talking to you guys how ultimate this thing could possibly be. We just did a first look, kind of played around with it. Well, today's video, we're gonna set it up. We're gonna do some testing, and we're gonna see if it is actually as good as what I might possibly think. Here's the bad boy right here. Let's hope it doesn't let us down. Let's get some things set up, do some testing, see what happens. First off, let's see if we can charge it with the ATV battery. As you can see right there, shows the internal resistance and it's charging up. Right now it's telling me the jump starter is ready. Crank this thing up. Oh, there we go. Oh, this thing's actually pretty weak. Shit, we can't even hit 200 amps off this thing. Oh, there we go, 250 amps. Voltage drop is huge. Capacitors drain really fast too. At this point, I'm not sure what to tell you. I had high expectations for this and so far it's letting me down. It just doesn't seem to have the power. I think we're gonna have to hook it up to the truck and see if it'll even crank it over. That's gonna be the telltale sign. I think I'm yank off the negative battery terminal. Holy shit, it did start my truck too. All right, we're gonna do this again. Do the battery boost. I changed my mind this is actually pretty impressive when I was doing the jump start here because the battery is disconnected so it simulates that's totally dead I'm using the backup battery boost to charge the capacitors and allow this thing to start so as you clearly seen in the video it started my 5.4 liter no battery assist completely on its own twice no problems at all, no struggling. So I'm gonna end the video here. This is so far the most ultimate jump starter you can get. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching. The thing I did forget to mention is that the backup battery percentage is right here. And using a cigarette lighter. It says it takes about four minutes to charge. It says it's at 55%. I'm just gonna charge it up.